The first alert desk this morning. I'm tracking a breaking update on the second largest wildfire in California history, the Dixie Fire. Now, while it still continues to burn and even grow at this hour, Cal Fire now shows the Dixie Fire is 90% contained. Ultimately, this fire burned more than 963,000 acres in Northern California. Once it started July 13th, the Dixie Fire was quickly fueled by strong winds, drought and hot temperatures. Now hundreds of homes burned and thousands of people were displaced because of this blaze. We are tracking the very latest right now on the raging wildfires in the Sequoia National Park in California. Now the complex fire is now threatening a 2000 year old landmark. Park officials are using fire resistant aluminum blankets in hopes of protecting the world's largest tree called the General Sherman. There are more than 2000 giant sequoias in the National Park. Even though these giant trees have adapted to fire and even rely on the heat to thrive, they cannot withstand large fires. Over the past few years have done low intensity prescribed burns around many of the sequoia groves. However, some of them haven't seen fire in over 100 years. Well, since it started on September 11th by a lightning strike, the complex fire has burned more than 11,300 acres in the Sequoia National Park. Well, this morning, the Red Cross needs your help. The organization is looking for volunteers and donations to help those victims in the Dixie wildfire in California. So our Zainab Shaib joins us live from the Red Cross in South Toledo this morning. And Zainab, the good news here is you don't need to necessarily give a lot to help those in need. You know, Tiffany, to get an idea of exactly how much you can donate, to picture this, only $5 can help the American Red Cross provide a blanket for those who are in emergency shelter. Now, the Dixie Fire is still going. There is some good news. According to Cali Fire, the Dixie Fire is now 90% contained. The fire has burned over 900,000 acres, the largest single wildfire in California history. The Red Cross has worked closely with partners to provide a emergency shelter, food, water, relief supplies, and health services to those who are affected. Right now, the American Red Cross is in desperate need for financial donations as well as volunteers. Laura Matamo is a local woman from Oak Harbor who deployed to California to help with emergency relief. She says her volunteer work is very rewarding as encouraging everyone who can volunteer to do the same. Laura also mentions that if anyone, anything uh, were to happen to Ohio, she's sure that people from other states will be a helping hand as well. But if something as huge as a hurricane or these widespread wildfires hit Northwest Ohio, we would have to call people from other parts of the country to come help us. There just aren't enough people in one neighborhood to handle um, this magnitude of event. So it, the local responders do everything they can to care for the clients, but they need help from across the country. Boising. Now, if you are not able to volunteer your time but would like to help out, you can check out our website at WTOL.com and you can donate over there. Reporting live in South Toledo, Zainab Shaib for WTOL 11.